something that uh, we don't often talk about in irrigation is pressure. A lot of the time when we're um, doing residential irrigation systems, we ask the clients to supply us with the flow in litres per minute, which enables us to design their system. But pressure is as relevant and as important and sometimes overlooked. So I just wanted to quickly talk about um, pressure reduction and the effects of high pressure and low pressure on a system. So irrigation products, uh, drip tubes, sprinklers, solenoid valves, PVC pipe, everything has a pressure rating that it can handle. And then the sprinklers and the drip tube have a, I guess, ideal pressure range that they need to operate in to enable them to operate at their optimum. So all of the flow data that we get from drip tube manufacturers and sprinkler manufacturers is tested at a certain pressure. So residentially, say in South Australia, a lot of people may have 800 kilopascals of pressure coming into their house or a thousand kilopascals of pressure coming into their house and that's fine for the solenoid valves to handle these valves are rated to a thousand and thirty four kPa but once you start getting down to polypipe and drip tube polypipe for example is rated to 400 kPa so we need to reduce the pressure that's coming in the system to 400 or 300 or whatever it is to get to the point where the sprinklers are operating at their optimum and the pipes are safe and they're not going to blow so I'll just show you a few samples of what, what we've got. This here's a, a fixed pressure reducer. It's brass and these are designed to go at the start of a system. So these can be under mains pressure and they're an adjustable pressure. Um, so this one's preset to 350 kPa. Um, 350 kPa will operate your sprinklers and your drip tube, no worries. Um, but you need to be conscious of pressure loss through things like solenoid valves or backflow pre prevention. So some people will put a pressure reducer like this at the start of their system and use that to reduce the pressure for all the valves. The risk that you have there is that some valves may have slightly different pressure requirements than others. So we would suggest that if you're gonna use something like this, that it's either to get to a pressure that all valves are operating at, so they're all drippers or they're all sprinklers, or have this preset to say 800 or 700 kPa so that it's reducing a really high pressure down to say 700 and then you would use um, individual valve pressure reducers then to reduce to the I guess specific pressures that each valve is going to require so drip tube you might want to get down to 200 kPa but your sprinklers you might want to have at 330 or 350 kPa because that's their ideal operating environment out of the valve keeping in mind that you're going to have pressure lost through the lines and through the fittings and through the bodies and, and so on and so forth. So what happens if you have too much pressure? The risk of too much pressure in a sprinkler um, is that you will get misting. So a lot of people uh, have this misconception that if you have more pressure then the sprinkler will throw further. That's not the case. If you're trying to force too much pressure through a head of a sprinkler, the water will start to mist, which means the wind's going to catch it and it's just going to blow away and you're going to end up watering your neighbor's lawn. So you want to have it at its optimum pressure so it creates more of a, I guess, a piercing jet and it's operating how it's designed and then it lands where it's meant to be land, landing. If you engage an irrigation shop like WaterPro to design your system, the system has been designed around the meters, the distance that you want to throw. So by trying to shove too much pressure through it, it's not going to work efficiently and you're going to have trouble with it. So that's what happens if there's too much pressure going into a sprinkler. If you have too much pressure going into a dripper, the pressure compensation that it has, so most of the drippers these days have a pressure compensating device inside them that enables the, the exact flow. So for example, Netafirm has a 1.6 liter per hour flow, Toro has a two liter per hour flow, and then they vary depending on the brands. If there's too much pressure coming in or not enough pressure going in, um, the dripper will either not open or it won't regulate the correct amount of water and that pressure compensation feature that you've got doesn't work. Finally, if you've got individual drippers or polypipe with too much pressure going in, you're going to find that fittings are going to blow off. Um, four mil tubes are going to blow off of the drippers. And so we have people come into the shop and say, oh, I need to buy some stainless steel clamps because the plastic clamps that you've sold us are shit, they're not working. It's not the case. The plastic clamps are fine in the situation that they're designed to be used, which would be the right pressure. So. I guess there's a lot of information in this. Um, I really just wanted to make a, an educational video to highlight that pressure can be a concern. It's not always a concern, um, but it's something to approach your professional irrigation store with while you're looking at your system uh, to ensure that you've taken into account the, the pressures that are there um, and then dealt with them appropriately. 
If you're not sure, you can get pressure gauges to test the pressure and most professional irrigation shops will have something that you can borrow or hire to test your pressure, um, which you'll screw the pressure gauge onto your tap and then test your flow at a certain pressure and then you'll know how it's all gonna go. So if you've got any of those issues, sprinklers misting, fittings blowing off, drippers not dripping or dripping more than you th they're meant to, look at your pressure. If you've got any questions about this at all, please feel free to contact us on 08 8363 6050. Like all the other professional irrigation shops in Australia, we're here to help. It's not just about selling you stuff. We want you to buy quality products that are being used specifically for what they're designed to be used for and that you go home happy.